Half an hour before the spring, part two. Here, drink this. Drink, drink. What happened? What happened? Yes, right, what happened? Tell me, what's going on? I can see it. There's something wrong with you. Oleg, you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. That's disgusting. <sighs> but do you know what the worst part is? You're lying. You lied to me. You're just paranoid. Will you stop it already? Calm down. Will you, you stop? You need to relax. Do you know what I want to tell you? I would probably be able to get over the cheating somehow. I don't really know. It would have been extremely difficult for me, but I'd do it somehow. But to get over your lies, I Tamara, just- Tamara, I told you, I'm not cheating on you. What do I have to do to prove it to you? Do you want to know what hurts me the most? What hurts me the most is that in seconds, you have destroyed Everything I dedicated my life to, absolutely right, everything. fine, you can think of anything you want. Anything. Please, I don't even care anymore. You can even feel pity for yourself if you want to. It's your right to do that, I mean it. Just remember, I can always arrange a place for you in Krapovitsky's department. You'll be lying there for some time, calming your nerves and getting some much needed rest. You know, Oleg, you shouldn't be a doctor. You should be acting on a stage. I almost believed you. <sighs> Give me a break. Come here. Look me in the eyes. Look me in the eye. And tell me you don't have another woman. I don't have another woman. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Mother home. She's not feeling well. I've received an invitation from the University of California. They're offering me a faculty position. <laughs> We're moving to San Francisco. Right now? Ira, you wanted that, aren't you glad? You. Want to talk about moving away right now? Are you serious? We don't know what's wrong with mom. Anya's life is a complete mess. And you decide to take us to America right now? Oh, Vadim. Now is not the time. This is really not the time. Did I screw up once again? Ira. Why am I always wrong? Why don't you write an instruction manual? One that says what I can tell and what I can't. The forbidden topics of conversation. Iro, what am I guilty of now? No, no, no. You're not guilty of anything. Please forgive me, please. I just lost my temper. You're not guilty of anything. Is there a man you want to talk about? No, Venom. No, not now, okay? No. Ira. Something's happened to us. And I don't like it at all. Not now. Ira, I can feel you pulling away. This thing, we've got going on right now looks less and less like a family. No, no. Not now. Don't. She smashed the glass and the children were panicking. We're 
having an anniversary in a month. I have a surprise prepared. I really don't know. I offered her to spend a week at Krapovitsky's department, but she refuses. I bought her a ticket to a health spot far from the city. She refuses. She's pulled way too tight. God knows what she's created in her head. Alec. What? Please tell me what to do. I'll do anything. Can you maybe talk to her? And be nice to her? And honest with her? She's not capable of that, Ina. Do you think you could talk to her? Dr. Oleg. Uh, hello, Sophia. Uh, hello, hold on a second. Uh, Hi. let me find your husband's records. Uh, Ina, let's talk about this later. Sure, we'll talk later. Sit down. When my mom, um, learned about my condition, she, she had a nervous breakdown. Oh my goodness, Anya. Let me talk to your parents. A child is such happiness. Please don't. They don't want to see me anymore. They kicked me out of the house. Your mother kicked you out? I can't believe that. No, not mom, my dad. Dad did. Mom just couldn't stand up to him. I will not have an abortion. I will not have an abortion. This is my child. Mine? And Pasha's. No, of course not. God, Anya, don't even think about that. Of course not. And Pasha doesn't talk to me anymore. At all. Do you want me to talk to all of them? I'll explain everything. No, don't. Mrs. Maria, I just have no one else to go to. I don't have anyone anymore. You told me that you wanted to have grandchildren. <laughs> God, why is this happening to me? It seems like everyone is against me. Against me and my baby. Everyone. Well, of course you will live with us, Anya. And of course, I will help you with everything. As for your parents, they will forgive you. And Pasha? I'll talk to Pasha as well. <laughs> we'll have a wedding. And we'll have a baby. Everything will be fine. You just don't worry. It's not good for you right now. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. Sophia, please understand I'm going through a very difficult time with my family right now. I must be there. I understand everything. I knew that everything would end someday. I just really wish I never met you. Wait. You're just tearing my heart apart. What do I do? I love you. Did he send you to check if I was still sane? He's really worried about you. Mm. Oh, really? Do you know what the most difficult thing is? All his lies. Well, if he came to me and truly apologized, I think we would fight, of course, scream at each other, but we probably would have found a solution. It takes a lot of courage to tell the truth. Ina, just imagine for a second. We professed our love for one another, had great sex, and he was thinking about someone else the whole time. And he wants her, Ina. This is, this is beyond the lies. This is a betrayal. Tamara, why are you getting so worked up? I am not getting worked up. I just don't know what I should do. What should I do? Anya needs my support as well as Oleg now, and I have no idea what to do. You see, if I pretend this never happened, then I won't be able to live with myself knowing what I know. If I ask for a divorce, 
There'll be nothing left in my life. What if you talk to this, Sophia? Standing in the way. This is not a museum. Can I go through? Hello. I I don't know what to say to you. Um, I didn't think that it would all play out this way. And I didn't think about you. Well, I did actually, but not with anger or jealousy. Uh, more like as a family member. Did you think about me fondly while destroying my family? Listen, Oleg and I didn't mean for anything bad to happen. We just found each other and fell in love. You're just a plain homewrecker. And no words can ever change that fact. I don't want to argue with you. But you know you also have a part in what happened. You know there was something that Oleg was missing in home life. And it would be ignorant of you to blame only me for the situation. Do you want me to absolve you of your sins? Forgive you, hug you, and maybe sit down for a tea with you? Oleg loves you very much. Go away. Just go away. <sighs> Oleg has erased me from his life. And I'm here because he and I won't see each other ever again. I'm very sorry that I hurt you. Forgive me. Hello? Mom, hi. I'm gonna be late. Will you pick up Sasha, please? Yeah, sure. I'll be on my way. Thank mm -hmm. you. Hi, Sasha. Tamara, I want to show you the tank I drew. I'll show it to you tomorrow. It's not finished yet. Awesome. Kostya! Kostya! <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. You were called and asked me to pick up Sasha. I finished my work early. I decided to pick up my son and take him for a walk. How are you doing? Well... I know that all's not exactly good. I don't know how to help you. You would hardly ask for my advice anyway. As for me, my job saves me from bad thoughts. I feel useful and needed in the lab. Well, as you can see, I don't have a job. I only feel useful when I'm helping my family. I wanted to say that I found a client for you. Really? A man came to visit us and saw the decor. <laughs> He loved the design very much. That's nice. And he asked for the designer's phone number. And actually, I gave him your number without asking you first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you. All right. Let's go, shall we? It's cold yeah. out here. Sasha! Well, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. oh, hold on. Come on, let's go this way. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Mom, women confuse me so much. When Rita found out about Anya, she started threatening to fire me. I'm going to lose my job. What am I going to do now? Pasha, this doesn't matter at all. We're having a baby soon. Anya will move in with us as soon as possible. I'm mad that she came to you before me. They're sly, you know? Rita and Anya, they both keep manipulating me. How could she not come to me? Think about it. 
This is your child, my grandchild. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you actually asked her to get a... Uh, you see, I can't even say the word. Uh, you just got confused, didn't you? Right. Mom, I don't love her. And I don't love Rita. Oh, Pasha, this is such great news. I'll live to see my grandchild. And it's all thanks to Anya. Are you happy, Mom? Very much. <laughs> Hello. Sure. Fine. I'll be there tomorrow. That's it. Boss's secretary just called. I'll be out of a job as of tomorrow at 9. I hope you will understand my decision. Yes, I understand everything perfectly. And accept the position of vice president. How's that sound? What? Hey, hey, excuse me, what did you say? Pasha, I'm aware of your current relationship with Rita, and I understand how difficult it will be for you to accept this promotion. But to my thinking, I'd rather have you and not her as my VP. But I... Pasha, I find Rita to be a wonderful employee and a talented manager. But in business, she moves forward too... too aggressively, while I, on the other hand, value class. Don't rush. Take your time deciding. Uh. Mm -hmm. Pasha. Hmm? I... I forgive you. No, really. I understand that this affair of yours doesn't mean anything to you. It was just a big mistake. Mm. We love each other, after all. There's no love between us, Rita. The thrill of the race, the greed of the gain, that's what bonds us. I need a gentle, caring girl. I don't need a shark. I don't need that in my life. <clears throat> Listen, I... I can be gentle and caring, Pasha. <laughs> and if you're talking about children, I'm good with that. And I don't well, want to throw these two years of our relationship away. Well, I do. Pasha, why are you being disrespectful? <laughs> Perhaps you want to have a job transfer? <laughs> I can easily arrange that for you right away. No, I'll arrange that for you. So goodbye, Rita. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pasha, are you out of your mind? What are you looking at me for? I have just been appointed vice president. Did you think you would always be my boss? That's not gonna happen. Here's a little advice for the future. That thing you call love is not love. One more thing. You're fired. Anyway, going to see my mom was careless of you. Pasha, I'm sorry. I need you to understand. Yes, I understand everything. I'm so glad that you came. They just kicked me out of the house, and now I have to live at my friends. God, it's so embarrassing. That's it, you're moving in with us, Anya. There's nothing else to discuss, I agree with my mom. We have to take responsibility for our child. Let's just try and see how it turns out. It'll be fine. It'll be great. I promise I'll be a great wife. I'll come and pick up your things tomorrow morning. Mm. You shouldn't be doing any heavy lifting. Don't worry about it. I don't have too many things. I can do it all on my own. You just focus on your work, okay? Don't get distracted. I'll bring my things on my own, that's all.
He can also play guitar. Well, say. he doesn't look like a can at all. But he played for me. He played me songs that I used to listen to when I was a kid. Right on the street? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi Mom. Why aren't you meeting me after work anymore? I'm glad you're finally smiling again. I'm so happy. Is everything okay? <laughs> uh, what did you ask me? No, nothing important. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Everything's wonderful. You know, I wanted to tell you both something. Yes? Well... Yes. Um, right. Pasha and I have decided to get married. What? Just like that. Hold on. What do you mean? What, you just decided to get married out of the blue and that's it? Do you mean you've discussed everything? Do you know where you want your wedding to be? With Pasha? Tamara, does this mean we have to get reacquainted with our new son-in-law? I'm also moving in with him. Where? And when? And what for? No, don't put that there. Why? Well, because I'm not moving to the North Pole. I'll be okay without it. Hold on. Why don't, don't you take a sweater? Are you going like to your one. husband's place in a t-shirt? And I huh? bet you'll also want to give me two suitcases of dowry and heirlooms. Uh, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down, everyone. I... I'll bring you the books myself. By the way, you tell Pasha, we need to meet to talk like two men and discuss everything. Do you hear me? Yes. We'll take care of the wedding, obviously. Let me do it. <clears throat> but honestly... I really don't know when we'll be able to, Dad. What do you mean you don't know? You're applying today, right? Oh, or maybe, I don't know, tomorrow? What kind know. of attitude is that? Today, oh, tomorrow? I don't oh, hold get on. it. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll take it down. Stop grabbing you. everything. Let me. You. Come on. Give it to me. Mom, stop here, please. Why? I'll drive you up to the door. No, no, just stop here. Please. Oh, Lord, Anya, what's going on? Well, I didn't want to tell you anything about this, but I guess that I have to. <clears throat> well, I told them that you kicked me out of the house when you learned I was about to have a baby. Wait, you said what? Please believe me, Mom. I had to do what I did. That's the reason why I'm asking you not to talk to me for a couple of weeks. We had an argument and stuff like that. You don't live together yet, and you're already lying to each other. Do you think anything could come of such a relationship? Mom, I didn't lie to him. I just didn't tell him the whole truth. Those two are different things. Pasha lied to you when he was sleeping with you and Rita. And what did he offer you when you told him you were having a baby, an abortion? Anya, you went after him and his mom, playing on their sense of guilt. That's deception. Not just towards him, but on his mom. Listen, why are you always forcing your perfect views of life on me? That's good, that's bad. How do you even know what's right? Mom. You're right. I don't know a thing. You're right. This is your life. Mom, what's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. Will you carry this? Yeah, I will. And also, please don't tell Dad. I don't want him to know anything about this. Okay? Oh! Mom! And don't call me for a while. Gotten this truth, the fox said, but you mustn't forget it. You become responsible forever for what you've tamed. You are responsible for your own rose. Sasha, do you understand what that means? Yes, I do. The prince is responsible for his rose. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible 
for my walking stick in the can. Mm-hmm. Just like Dad, is responsible for me and for Mom. And you're responsible for Grandma. Of course, great. You're my smart boy. Oh, hello. Here's Tamara. Tamara, come join us. Sit with us. Good morning. <laughs> you wore a yellow dress, and it was in a plaid pattern. I remember absolutely everything, down to the very last detail when you left. Mm -hmm. You had those dimples right here. <laughs> it's been 30 years, and the dimples are the same. How awful that number you're saying. <laughs> That's even scarier. <laughs> I want to spend this day all alone with you. We'll go drinking and let go. I booked a table at the restaurant. Mm. Mm -hmm. After that, I'm taking you away. But that's a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> mm. Sophia. Let's talk later. I'm I'm in a hurry. Andre has died. What? Th this is all my fault. This is all my fault. I didn't love him and he died. I love you. What am I going to do now? Tell me, what am I going to do? Please don't leave me, not now. Please don't leave me. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh, God. Hello, Tamara. You know, I have to work late today, yes. An uh, emergency surgery. Don't come meet me. All right, don't get upset. We'll talk later tonight. Let's go. Mara, you misunderstood everything. This is all nonsense. It's some kind of stupid set of circumstances. Her husband died. Mm -hmm. I told you about him. He was my patient, the one mm -hmm. who was critical. She, she just... Just stop lying already, Oleg. I'm not lying. Will you stop lying, please? Aren't you tired oh. of this? I gave you a chance, then I gave you this another is... one. But you treat me like a doormat my entire oh, life. Stop. I really don't deserve it. I don't. Mara, I'm not treating you like a doormat, and I'm not Oleg, lying to you. Oleg, stop it already. Just be a man. Go ahead. Tell me the truth. Go what, ahead. What try mean? it. What, what truth are you talking about? I saw you. I saw you back in Romanovka. I was there. I saw her riding you. You know, during all this time, I'm just looking at you, and I cannot understand. How could you take her to our house, hmm? Huh? to our own house, where all our things are. Come on, tell me it didn't matter to you at all. Tell me again it didn't matter, huh? I fell in love. Unfortunately, it wasn't just a meaningless affair. It was an emotional one as well. I couldn't do anything with myself. 
Tamara, I'm saying it was emotional because it's over now. You know, you know what? I could forgive almost anything just for the sake of our children, our history, for the sake of, of everything we had together, really. But I can't do that now. Tamara. I just can't do it anymore. I'm too tired. Forgive me, Tamara. I can't do it. Forgive me, Tamara. Forgive me. Oleg. Get out. Burning. <sighs> Mom, what's that stench? What happened? The oatmeal burnt, son. Ugh. I opened a window. Hold on a second. Sit down. I'll make you something. You're doing everything by yourself? Where's Anya? Anya's not feeling well. Ah, of course. The pregnancy drama, act one, right? Pasha. All right, I'm just worried that I can't help you myself. My new job is complete hell. And clients are leaving us for another firm as if it's a conspiracy. The boss is on a rampage. And I'm not handling it well. Sit down, Pasha dear. Don't think about it. I do it with pleasure. You go, go. It's my pleasure to look after you and after Anya. What's the use of lying around all the time? I have to move. Here I... Oh. Hmm? Here you go. <laughs> you Thank eat. you so much, I'll Mom. pick it up. I would have never expected that from Dr. Oleg. I envied what they had as a couple, you know? Always together, always by each other's side. Well, I told you, it was bound to happen. Anyway, I didn't expect that from him. Well, men are men. His poor wife. Poor indeed. And the affair is with a young girl, after all. Where will the ex go now? Why don't you two stop gossiping already? We feel very sorry for you, Anya. Such a shock for you and your mother. We're really sorry. I don't get it. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. You don't know yet? The whole hospital's buzzing. Dad! Mm. So it's true. That's how it is, sweetheart. How could you? Explain this to me, please, how could you? Answer me, please, right now! How could you do this to mom? Tell me, she did everything for you! Anya. She gave her whole life to you Anya. and you betrayed her! I've made a mistake, I just can't undo what I've done. Can you understand that at least? Do I have to understand you now? Really, I have to understand you? You betrayed mom! You betrayed us all! I won't talk to you anymore. I won't work a single day in your presence! You've ruined everything! Mm. 
Thank you. Here. Maybe it would be better for Mom to move in with you. So she doesn't have to be alone. I can't do it anyway. I'm living on sufferance myself. Mom, maybe you should move in with Adam and I for a little while. <sighs> no, girls. I'm not going anywhere. But, Anya, the fact that you've given up your studies is terrible. A woman needs a career, you know? I understand that now clearer than ever. Because as it turns out, you can be abandoned at any moment. But why would I be abandoned? Pasha and I are doing really well. Great, even. At least I'd say. Thank God for that. I hope it stays that way. Mom, would you ever be able to forgive Father? Not now, I know, but someday in the future? <laughs> Please count back from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We can start now. Doctor. I'll have to call Dr. Ina. I cannot let you do surgery in such a condition. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, one more, please. One of those two. <sighs> what are you doing, Oleg? You're drunk to the point that you can't even hold a scalpel. And they've banned you from the OR. They've called up the board. I don't care. There's something I don't understand. Why do you men need all this nonsense? You won't understand then. You tell me, I'll try. I love two women. Both Tamara and Sophia. I love them both equally. I know it's a terrible thing. I'm lying to them. But at the same time, I'm actually not lying to anyone at all. You're right, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't understand everything, it doesn't mean that it can't be so. <clears throat> Oleg, Oleg, thank God you called me. You have so much going on right now, poor man. I'm right here for you. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Haven't you caused enough harm already? I'm in love with him. Alec, if you go with her now, I'm telling you, there is no turning back. It would be a big mistake. Tamara will never forgive you. And I will not help you. She won't forgive me anyway. thing is that I just got divorced, but that's old news. Uh, I gotta get an apartment now that doesn't have a single thing that could possibly remind me of, well, you know. <laughs> mm, you know, I've already started making some sketches. Take a look. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this looks interesting. <laughs> She's
Everything's rocking all right. Do you know them? That's my wife. Madam, that is Ira's former classmate. They performed like that as a duo at music school. Are you out of your mind? What are you doing here? Let her go. Ira, what's this charade? What's going on here? Listen, she already told you. Ira! We're going on tour to Germany. We love each other. Do you understand? We love each other. I'm talking to my wife. Go away! Not your wife anymore. Don't you understand? She's leaving you. Go away! Screw you, man! Colio, what's going on here? Sissy! Okay. What is going on Did here? Did he hit him? Let me see. Oh. I'm so sorry, sir. What can we do to remedy this? Your yeah, dinner's some ice Come quickly. On. Go home. You're fired. Ira! Come on! Decide Go right away. here, right now! Ira, what is he talking about? What's going on? Colia, get lost! Mom, I'll explain it to you later. Once again, I'm so sorry. Madam, please, just don't. Uh, this is some kind of. Confusion. It must be. I'll talk to her later. Don't jump to any conclusions for now. We need to put some ice on that. Scream at me. Well, I don't know. Hit me. Throw my things out on the balcony. Do something at least. No, you'll just stand there without saying a word in complete silence. Can you say something for once? Anything. Be a man. Say something. Say something to me. Don't you care that I'm leaving you? Don't you care? <sighs> no. No what? Do whatever you want, but I won't let you take our son. <laughs> what are you saying, madam? He's my son. Sasha! Sasha, come here. Mom, Dad, are we going to the beach today or Sasha, not? Sasha, Mommy's going to the beach, and we're in charge of the house. Go to your room, my boy. Stay in there for a while, OK? I won't give the legal authorization. He's my son, too. I'll take you to court, okay? I'm taking him anyway. You know what, Vadim? If you had ever been this passionate, maybe I wouldn't be leaving you now. <sighs> you need to be hated to be happy and satisfied. You're just sick. Sweetheart, I'll come back and bring you a big building block set. Really big, okay? Yeah? I don't need a big building box set, Mom. Grandpa doesn't come visit me anymore. And you are leaving now, and Papa is sad. <laughs> oh, my sweet boy. <clears throat> Mommy has to go. <clears throat> this is her job. <clears throat> Do you understand? <laughs>
Good afternoon. Can I help you? Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, I'm here to meet with your marketing director. Do you have an appointment? No, I'm a representative for a foreign company. We're just looking for a PR specialist for our new ad campaign. Take a seat there, please. I'll ask when the director will be able to see you. Would you like tea or coffee? No, thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, hey. You're here too? Yeah, I decided to check out the company that's taking our clients. Tell me, what's the golden promise they made to you? What are yeah, you doing? nothing in particular. They promised me professionalism, Pasha. That is the thing that your company lacks, unfortunately. Good afternoon. Well, hello. Shall we? Oh, Anya, I'm coming. Oh, madam. Oh, God, so sorry. I thought it was Anya. Uh, she just called and said she was coming, and so I thought you were her. No, don't worry. I didn't even see anything I shouldn't have. I mean, uh, I didn't mean that at all. I'm really sorry. I can read your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I came to pick up Sasha. I came by to tell you that I bought theater tickets for the three of us. I read on the internet that it's going to be an outstanding premiere. I'm meeting Ina today. Oh? Mm. She hinted that she was going to introduce me to some amazing and irresistible guy. Why do you need that? Oh, Ina is a force to be reckoned with, you know? There's no use arguing with her. Oh. Can I ask you a favor, Vadim? Would you mind calling me at eight? It's just a small favor, you know? In case I need saving. Fine, of course I'll call you. Don't even worry about it. Great, thank you. So there's a lot of work now. It's so busy. We got a lot of new clients, and with them, lots mm. of money. I bought a new car, just like you advised me to. Don't you hold a grudge with me? <laughs> grudge? Oh, come on. Where would I be if not for you? Hmm. Now I have my own agency, and I don't work for a moralist nobody. How are you? How am I doing? The company is a complete mess. All thanks to you. Well, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. That seems fair. <laughs> you ended up winning. How is it at home? Family? Wife? Baby? Uh, nothing feels right. Since we broke up, nothing good has happened in my life. I've been missing you a lot. <laughs> really good? Yeah. Oh. Yes, this is, uh, Boris. Hmm? Oh. oh. Oh, why are you sitting there with an empty glass, Tamara? Oh, you know, Boris, I think I've already had enough. What do you mean? This cherry was made by our ancestors from an ancient recipe, the Sherimetievs. I had to convince the maitre d' to let me bring it in here tonight. Believe me, that wasn't easy, but it was worth it. I made this from my own berries. Ina knows my berry fields. <laughs> And I had such a great harvest of cherries this year, am I right? It's not <laughs> just a cherry tree. And we had no cherries this year at all. They used to blossom so well. Why are we talking about cherries? Let's leave that for later. Am I right, Boris? Why, of course. Will you invite Tamara and I sometime? Why not come? Come anytime. We could do it tomorrow, huh? I'll get the furnace all stocked up. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Yes, is it something urgent? I'm in a restaurant now. Mmm. I understand. I I'm coming. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Thank you for a wonderful evening. Thank you. So then, do we have a date? I could come over. I could pick you up. Mm. I don't know. Excuse me.
You know you're my savior, right? <laughs> you know, Ina found me a suitor. He was this good-looking older man from some noble family of aristocrats who was courting me, right? So I guess I'm still not that bad if a descendant from a count agrees to have an affair with a plain old Russian woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But you're amazing. Any older man would be very happy to have what? you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, madam. Thank you very much, really. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I think that compliments actually aren't your thing. <laughs> no, you're very beautiful. Right. That's right. what I meant to say. <sighs> well, it's time to go home. I still need to finish Sasha's suit for the school play. Sasha? Sasha? Come here. Tamara, I'm not stupid after all. I can see that she met someone. It's obvious you're all glowing. You look like you're 20 years younger. <laughs> right. You're so confident. Men in the street turn their heads to look at you. Tell me. Ina. Tamara, it's not like I'm just now getting to know you. Tell me I won't say anything. Your clients? I'm having a problem, Ina, not a romance. Do you understand me? I'm starting to think that Vadim thinks that he likes me. Hmm? What? Really? Vadim? Wait, wait, wait. Ira's husband? Yes. Wow. What are you going to do about this? Oh, I don't even know what to do. You see, I feel that if I tell him to stay away from me, he could take Sasha away. What if you don't say anything? <laughs> Why are you smiling? Ira was the one who left him, right? Listen, this is some kind of incest. What incest? What are you talking about? You two are not related. Besides, Vadim's a good-looking man. Actually, Tamara, it would be as if you were changing your old husband for the same model. Only a more comfortable and current one. <laughs> well, that would be something. No, I mean it. Don't you understand? If he takes Sasha from me, I don't know what I would do. I'm not joking. Just look at yourself in the mirror. You're glowing right now. Your brain is saying no, but your body is screaming yes. It's time to start living again. You know what? <laughs> Let's have a drink. They've offered me the head of the lab position in San Francisco. Did you accept? The money is great. Plus school, housing, everything is paid for by the university. Seems like the perfect decision. Ira's always dreamt of going to America. She has, but not with me. Let's call a spade a spade, yeah? The only family I have in the entire world is you, and Oleg, and Sasha. We've been building our family for so many years, we are at its core. Even the fact that Ira and I lasted for as long as we did is only because of you. But you see, I'm a bad architect. I probably made a mistake in calculations when designing the foundation. You know, it all crumbled down in the blink of an eye. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hello, Ira. Hello, hi. Yes, how are you doing, sweetheart? Hello, Mom. I'm fine. How is Sasha doing? We're at the park now. I'll get him. What? I can't hear anything. What, Mom? Sasha, come here quickly. Your mom's calling. Here. Talk to her. Mom, I miss you. Hello. Sasha, can you hear me? 
Yes, I'm at the park with Daddy and Tamara. I miss you so much. I bought you so many presents. Sasha. When are you coming back? Tell me your phone number. Listen, honey. I'll call you right back, OK? Listen to your grandma, OK? All right? OK. I love you. I love you, too. OK, bye. And we'll be happy. I don't understand what's going on. I'm just talking. Mikael, this is just what we were talking about earlier. Uh, you see this here? I think this, um, if we're talking about the living room, this light blonde vintage plank with the oak one will go really well with the furniture that I have in mind, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I don't understand anything about vintage styles or paint, but you talk about it in such a way that even I'm interested. Mm. We should add this one too, what do you think? Well, all right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Is something wrong? There's my ex-husband <clears throat> with his new one. We'll do whatever you need to do, my dear. Hmm. Look at this one. Uh, wait in the car and I'll pay for this. Mm-hmm. Hi. I've chosen these. Do you like them? Yes, it's actually very pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nice. <sighs> Tamara. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. You look wonderful. Well, thank you. And? Uh, a client. What do you mean? Well, um, I'm a professional designer now. Ah, very nice. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, Tamara? Mm -hmm. Can I come and visit Sasha sometime? Still at the same address. Come over. All right. Thank you. You could have come before. Sasha misses you. I miss him very much. I was just afraid to bother you somehow, and, uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, can you help me, please? I can't carry this by myself. Uh, sure, of course, of course. <clears throat> well, well, bye. 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 Thank you very much. What are these flowers for? They're for going to the theater. Uh, you remember, right? Uh, Adam, I'm terribly sorry, but I think I can't go. I'm very tired. Why are you crying? There are tears in your eyes. I saw Oleg with Sophia. It hurts so much. I thought I was done with all of that, but... <laughs> I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. 
and I will never leave you. No theater tonight. Okay. We'll go for a walk instead. All right. It will make Sasha very happy. <laughs> Sasha, be careful. We need to talk. Come here. We do. Tamara? I love you. I do. Yeah. What? That's right. <laughs> Vadim, this... This is not right. What? Well... The thing that is happening. This is terrible. No, it isn't. Of course it is. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Madam, listen, you're not really in love with me. You've been abandoned and you're just confused and you're maybe angry at the whole world. You think that I'm your last resort, but this isn't true. Don't you see that? It isn't true. Oh my god. This is not this is not happening right now. This can't be happening right now. How can't you see that? This makes no sense. But why? How do you how do you think this would go? What will we tell Sasha? That I was his grandma and now I'm his stepmom. And what about Ira? Huh? What about Ira? And am I gonna tell myself that I don't love you? That I have to stop loving you? Only because someone else may not like it? Because someone else would think that it's wrong? Adam, you and I are never gonna be a thing. I know you can take Sasha away from me, and we'll never see each other again. I know you can do that. But I don't wanna lie to you. Nothing can happen between us. You've overshadowed us all with your accordion. I heard that the German producer offered you a gig with the German orchestra for the entire summer. No. You're out of your mind. Chances like this only come around once in a lifetime. I'm over Germany these past three weeks. I just miss home way too much. Here we go. Jeez. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you drinking? Again? Just a little bit. You need to stop drinking. We have to be on stage in three hours. What's going on with you? It's all good, Ira. Calm down. <clears throat> oh, hey, come on. Come on, man. Get up. You good? Thanks, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to the park and walk around for a while, and then Daddy will meet us after work. And do you know where we're going then? To the shooting gallery! Yay, the shooting gallery! <laughs> That's right. Tamara, look who's there! My grandpa's here! Grandpa, come play with me! <laughs> oh, my sweet boy, hello! I missed you. Why didn't you come visit me before? Well, I just couldn't come. Will you go to the park with us? Well, if Tamara allows me to. Of course she will let you come with us. She loves it when the whole family's together. Right, Tamara? Mm -hmm. huh? <clears throat> oh, why did Ira do that? How's that? I, I, I don't get that. How could she even do that? <laughs> really? No, stop. Tamara, stop. I feel sorry for her. She's making a big mistake. Well... Hello? No, I'm still in the hospital. Well, yes, we'll talk later. I'm busy now, I can't talk. Yes, fine. She's expecting something more from me. I don't want to go any further. Not with her. 
Tamara. I want to get back together. I want to come back home. I really love you. Oh, hello, Vado. Hello. Hi. Ole? Mm. Nice to see you. Pleasure is mine. I wasn't expecting you, to be honest. Mm. Sasha! Sasha! Hooray! Daddy's here! We're going to the shooting gallery! Grandpa, are you coming with us? <laughs> no, Sasha. Grandpa can't come. They're waiting for him back home. Why aren't you sleeping? I told you I was gonna be late. I feel calmer this way. It's nice. When you have someone waiting for you at home. Don't you agree? No, it isn't. Why can't you just go to bed like normal people do? Stop sacrificing yourself for the sake of the family. I constantly feel guilty for that. This is because you're acting like an angel who always forgives and always understands. I can't do this anymore. Okay. This is not how I imagined our life would be. I thought we were a couple. A couple both on and off stage. And all you're doing is drinking and talking to all these shady girls every night. <laughs> I wanted you to meet my son. Why can't you understand that? You're pulling the plug on me, Ira! Me? Yes, you! Since we got together, I haven't written a single thing! It's all because of you! You! You're always shining. They keep applauding you. They even want to raise your salary! What are you- And they even want to book you for the next season! And I'm like an extra. No one needs me here anymore. No one even wants to work with me anymore! You don't even know what hard work looks like, Kolya! And all you do is drink! And whine about how awful this world is and how everyone doesn't understand you! Right. This is exactly who I am. Go ahead. How else will you humiliate me? Kolya. Kolya. Kolya! I'm off to the bar. Stop. What bar? Our flight's tomorrow. We're leaving. What bar? You're drunk! If you leave now, I will never forgive you.
So are you really planning to quit your current job right away? Yeah, why? They're giving me a better offer. And the salary is higher. Mm-hmm. But this is good, right? Don't you see? I knew that everything would play out well and be perfectly fine. By the way, which company is it? <clears throat> All right. I'm off for now or I'll be late for the appointment. Mom, are you ready? Yeah, Pasha, I'm ready. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. Don't forget about the ultrasound. I'll be waiting for you right next to the office. And here's your passport, ma'am. Thank you. Ma Very kind of you. Enjoy your stay. Oh, excuse me. Do you know by chance where my other bandmates may be? Uh, they left last night. I called them a taxi to the train station. I think they went to Munich, they said. Thanks. Excuse me, miss. Please, don't forget that you need to be out of the room before 11 a.m. Okay. Here, here are the arms, and these right here are the legs. The doctor said that everything's going really well, just as it should be. Well, it's a shame that Pasha couldn't come with me. I think all women in there had their husbands with them. Anya, yeah, please don't be mad at him. He's got so much to deal with right now. Of course he would be forgetful. He's got a new job, and he has to explain things to his ex-boss. This is why he's nervous. No, I'm not mad. Of course not. Everything's fine. Whatever. Anya? Anya, what is it? What's going on? What? Are you with Rita again? By the way, I gave up my studies because of you. By the way, I had a fight with my parents because of you. Listen, this is just becoming too unbearable. You either look me in the eye like a puppy dog or freak out like a mad woman. I have found a job where they pay me more. What more do you want are from you me? Are you sleeping with her? Tell me right now, please, Pasha. She's your ex, after all. Tell me, are you sleeping with her? Are you sleeping with her while I'm carrying a- I can't deal with you anymore! I can't deal with you anymore! You just get to me too many times. She and I won't work. Mom, this is it. I don't know what to do with her. What have you decided? Nothing yet. Don't think that everything will be fine just because you came back. It's not going to work that way.
I'm sorry for what I did to you and Sasha. I acted like a crazy woman. I thought that if I didn't run away with Kolya, I would die. Just die. Do you understand? What happened with you and Kolya? Changes nothing between us. It changes everything. I now understand that you don't love me. You never did. No, wait. I realized that I never actually really loved you either. This is because I now know what love is. Is there somebody else? Hmm? When? Right after I left you? Or maybe before? I'll go live with my mom. Goodbye. Do you know who Vadim is sleeping with? No. Why would you think something like that? I've never seen him so independent and self-confident, you know? That's how women are. I'd go away for three weeks and some gold digger has already jumped on it. Ira, do you want to get back with him? <laughs> I'll get him back. There's no doubt about that. I just wish I knew who this new girlfriend he found is. I'll come pick up Sasha in an hour. Have some more tea. Come on, sit down, sit down. <sighs> I've decided to go back to my old job at the music school. The director called yesterday. He said they're helpless without me. The concert's very soon. Good, I'm happy for you. Mm. Tamara. Mm? Sit down, be with us. Oh. You're already talking to my mom like this. All right, Ira. Mom, sit down. I invited Vadim to the concert. My students are playing Brahms. Mm. Vadim, you really must come. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll definitely come then. I've never done that, but I'll do it this time. Look, I'm not making you come. Don't come if you don't want to. I thought we would get back together somehow. How long are we going to keep up this act for? What are you trying to say? Vadim, please don't. I will. Ira, I'm in love with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Vadim. Come on, Ira. I hope you understand that this is not what Vadim meant. But it is. I'm in love with Tamara. How? How could you? This is just... Uh, wait this wait is a just... minute, Ira. Ira, I hope you really don't believe all that nonsense. I mean, t tell me, why, w why would you do that? You see, now Ira got it all wrong. She understood everything the right way. I'm in love with you. How can it be understood any other way? Are you crazy? Me? You've lost your husband and now you've decided to take mine? Ira. Are you insane, Mom? Ira, calm down. This is complete rubbish. It's not what it seems. Yes, it is. You dumped me. And I can see you weren't losing any time either. So you've been doing this behind my back the whole time? Maybe you're not so innocent after all and Dad's the fool. Ira. Please stop it. Why do you have to fight all the time? <laughs> oh my God, what a madhouse. Hello. Yes, Ina, what? What? Hello. Hello, Daddy.
Oleg, I'm begging you to be strong. Okay? We need you very much. Your kids need you. And Sasha, right? And me. Please, pull yourself together. His condition is serious, but stable. And now he still has a long way to go. I don't need to be telling you this, but serious heart attacks need long recovery. Right. Yeah. Ina, keep me in the loop, yeah? Please? Of course. Well, I'd better go home now, then. I don't want to be an eyesore to this Sophia. Anyway, this is their life now. What, Sophia? Forget about Sophia. What do you mean? The ambulance brought Oleg here, and huh. his girlfriend came three hours later and brought a bag with all of his things. She wept in my office, begged for forgiveness and understanding. She said she wouldn't take care of an ill man. Well, I absolved her all her sins and told her to go to hell. However cynical this may sound, Dying Oleg is all yours. <laughs> well, thank God, I guess, right? Although, I didn't expect anything else. Will Daddy recover? Of course he will. That's good. Ira, I hope you understand that there was nothing between Vadim and I. He's just very confused, you know? He's overwhelmed by the fact that his family is torn apart. And he probably thought that he would be able to... to preserve at least a piece of that with my help. I don't know. Yes, he loves you. I can see it. Ira, come on. This is nonsense. No. Mom. Mm. It, it hurts so much. No one loves me, Mom. Everyone always loves you, but no one loves me at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ira, everyone loves you. I love you more than anyone in the world. Don't say that. I know I'll never get him back, but I have to keep going, right? Mm -hmm. Mom. Hello? Hello. So slippery. Oh, Miss Maria. Hello. Hello. Why are you standing out here in the cold? Well, I... Why don't you come in? Tamara, I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't find the courage. Wait, is everything okay? Something no, wrong no, no. with the baby? No, no. Can we please talk? Well, of course. You know, I... I hope you'll understand me as a mother. I mean, I guess you will. Uh? I've spent my whole life trying to make Pasha happy, and I love Anya like my own daughter. And I'm anxious for the arrival of my grandchild. This is all I ever wanted in my life, you see? Of course. I completely understand. Pasha's not happy with Anya. It's not working out for them. Anya doesn't understand him. She's constantly demanding something from him. He's just exhausted all the time, and it hurts so much to see him in this condition, and... I... Tamara, I'm asking you, please. I'm begging you to let Anya come back home. Of course, I will help with the baby, and I'll give Anya money, whatever she needs, but she can't stay with us anymore. Pasha has reached his limit. Pasha's reached his limit? It was him who asked me to talk to you. You see, he has so much going on right now. A new job in- Your dear Pasha is an immature mama's boy. He'll be hiding under your skirt for the rest of his life. First, he has an affair with his boss for the sake of his career, then with my daughter for the sake of your surgery. No, no, what are you this talking about? This is exactly how it is. And now you're sending my daughter back to me? Like a beaten street dog? 
Your Pasha is a swindler, and there's nothing else to talk about. Pasha's not a swindler. And who was the one who raised him? You did. Good morning. Hi, good morning. May I help you with something, sir? I work here now. It's my first day on the job. Yeah? Yeah. I'm the new vice president. My office is on the third floor. May I have the keys, please? Miss Rita didn't say anything about it, but you can take a seat for a second and I'll ask her. Never mind, I'll call Rita myself. Yeah. It's a crying shame that I didn't listen to either of you back then. I'm sorry. Well, you tried and did everything you could. It didn't work out, but it's not the end of the world, right? right? The main thing is, we're together again. Right? Raising this baby. Of course we'll raise this baby <laughs> together. <laughs> Come on, girls, get in. Goodbye. All the best. Rita! I don't get the joke. I've been waiting for you all morning. I quit my job, I left Anya, but you won't even pick up your phone. And can you tell your receptionist to let me in when I tell them to- Are you an idiot? Or what? What? Do you really think that you can, you can fire me and then come back and demand anything from me? Are you out of your mind? <sighs> Rita, I, I don't understand. I'll spell it out for you then. I don't ever want to see you again. Please get out. Rita, what are you doing? You said you, you said you loved me. Excuse me, please. This young man is lost. Could you show him the way out? Oh, and one more thing. You can handle him as roughly as you need to. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Uh, sir, you need to leave. Rita, you did it all on purpose, right? It was a setup, you slut! Gah! <coughs> 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 Son, don't be sad. You'll come see me in two months. But I'm going to miss you so much, Daddy. Me too. One word from you. And I'll leave it all and won't go anywhere. That him? No. Let's go. 